So here we are fixing another shipping damaged item and uh, this happens every once in a while but this was a perfectly fine guitar that I was going to set up and uh, the person that shipped it to me shipped it in a very flimsy box. It was an oblong box but a very flimsy one and um, didn't put any packing in the box. None. Zilch. Zero. It did have a, a gig bag but it was one of those very thin gig bags so the thing just got slushed around and um, consequently it got dinged uh, here and I'm doing the, I colored it, and now I'm doing uh, CA glue fills. And I'm going to, uh, once I get it above the uh, area, I'm going to sand it and try to buff it out and make it look as good as I can. But this happens a lot. Um, you get people that seem to ship a lot of guitars, or they seem to sell quite a lot on the auction sites. And... They just don't seem to know how to ship, or they just take a gamble. Now, I keep this stuff here. You know what this stuff is. It, every guitar and ukulele you buy is wrapped with it. I keep it. All of it. It's great wrapping. Uh, I wrap guitars two or three times in it, even inside bags. I stuff uh, a box at the sides of the guitar to wedge it in. I keep every bit of packing that I get. Here's a box right here, and it's full of, whoops, it's full of Christmas tree, sorry, Christmas paper, tons of it, loads of it. Um, there's a certain vendor that uses that stuff, you'll know who I mean, those of you who order from them. I keep it, I keep a big box full of, full of it in my garage, and um, I reuse it, I stuff the hell out of boxes and then in my rafters you can see all the boxes that I keep guitar boxes cello boxes um, if I show you up, up here I keep the polystyrene guitar molds that come with certain guitars that you order particularly from Asia uh, I reuse them I pack guitars in them and rebox them um, I keep the shaped boxes. I keep a stack of oblong boxes up on my rafters, um, and uh, you can you can pack in shaped boxes, but you have to put this stuff in it. You have to pack this stuff in it right here. And I keep bubble wrap. I keep plastic. I keep paper bags. Anything that's used to pack stuff that comes to me, I keep and reuse it. Um, I don't know why people don't do that. I don't know why people take a chance on guitars with no packing whatsoever and then you get this sort of thing uh, right here. And uh, this was a guitar that uh, I bought and was going to resell um, for a certain price. Uh, it's a, a prototype guitar, it's not in production. And I'm going to do a video on these. That I got, got a few of them in a lot. And now I can't sell it for, for anywhere near the price that I was going to because of this scar that it's going to have, even though I'll try to make it look nice. But the seller did give me a partial discount. He credited half back to my account, so uh, it's good that he took care of it. But I told him, I said, if you're going to sell guitars on these auction sites, you can't just put them in a box with no packing. You're taking too much of a risk. And once the shipper sees that you don't have any packing in the box, they're not liable to fill a claim, an insurance claim. They'll use anything to get out of it. He sent this, I think, FedEx. Uh, I'm not sure about their policies because I don't use them. Um, FedEx, for, to me, are always a bit more expensive than UPS and USPS, so uh, I tend to go uh, with those two. But uh, this is just a video about about shipping guitars. Um, be responsible. Buy full insurance. Um, wrap them. Here I have I have a stack here of uh, plastic that I keep. Just mounds of plastic. 
that's good wrapping. Uh, it also insulates the guitar when you ship it. So, um, yeah, just a, a quick video about that. Uh, just to encourage people, if you're gonna if you're gonna ship guitars or buy and sell guitars, um, pack them properly, and don't ever use packing peanuts. Oh, I hate packing peanuts. I curse people who use packing peanuts. They get all over my garage, and I have to sweep it out, and it and it, it sticks to the floor. It's horrible. So use this stuff. Use paper. Use newspaper. Use uh, brown paper. Use bubble wrap. Use plastic wrap. Um, don't use peanuts, please. <laughs> Unless you want to be cursed by luthiers all over the world. They know what I mean. You pull. You have to pull them out of the the box over the trash can, and then. Um, sweep up or pick up the excess which takes about half an hour you know I get them all over my lawn all over my uh, garage so uh, please don't use packing peanuts but everything else is fair game just pack the hell out of every guitar that you ship you don't have to embalm it and uh, mummify it like some people do some people go overboard just make sure that you have a box that's bigger than the actual guitar and that you pad the sides so that when the box gets crushed and something hits the box and puts a hole in the box it doesn't go all the way through and damage the guitar uh, which is what happened to this. I didn't save the box to show you but it was a very flimsy box it wasn't a sturdy enough box to carry this weight of guitar I suspect it was a box within a box you know these were shipped probably in sixes or tens in much bigger boxes like this and um, they use sort of internal boxes which are very thin and not really designed for uh, outside shipping so the person took a gamble and they lost money on their sale because I told them you know either you pick this up or you give me a partial refund because I'm gonna have to fix this now and you're not gonna be able to file a, a claim because you didn't use any padding in the box and you didn't use an adequate box to begin with so anyway enough of my ranting on just a quick video about shipping I think it's important. See you next time.